back enough. He played here at Jackson State. Uh, he's like, that's not even an issue today. So here we go. Swack football is underway, and the Hornets on the return. They got a lot of room, and he's still on his feet going down the field. A big return for the Hornets quarterback, but you never know, Demetrius, De Demetrius Davis. Double D can also play, but it's Stewart who will pass on first down. Stewart way downfield, has a guy wide open. He makes the catch. It's Kashan Johnson. And what a big play by the Hornets. The first play from scrimmage, and it's a huge down the sideline. So now the Hornets inside the 10-yard line, knocking on the door. They go back to the run, and it's a tough run from Marcus Harris again as he goes off tackle. This indeed is a key game. Stewart puts a receiver in motion. He's going to throw it. Pumps, fires into the end zone. It's a touchdown, but a flag is down. And he may have stepped out of bounds because not only the flag went down, but the hat went down to put the Hornets out in front early in this ball game. Snap and the hold is good. Kick is also good. And the Hornets from Alabama State did not take long before the 230 pound graduate student played at South Carolina, also played at Virginia Tech, so he's been around. Brown's going to throw it on first down, dumps it off to Mulligan. Mulligan cuts inside, still on his feet, tackled by Bubba Adams from behind, but a nice pickup covers to his left. And we may have had an offensive tackle that moved early. Pass is complete to Seven McGee, and he fumbled the football, and it looked like the Hornets got on it, but let's see if there was a flag. I'd have a hard time saying that is not a catch. At, at first steps, here's one, two, he's got the ball, bam. Shoulder pad directly on that football that comes out. That's a catch. If that's not a catch, I really and truly have no idea what a catch is anymore. It's getting confusing. <laughs> what great hustle on the play by Adrian Maddox. He's the guy who came in and knocked the football out and then watch his attempt to recover the ball. I mean, that's just all out hustle. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a great hustle, man. Coach, yeah. Coaches up with the first turnover of the game, so they have the football. First and 10 now from the 47 yard line. And the handoff goes straight ahead. They go back to the running game. And it's going to pick up short yardage inside. That was number eight and down and eight after a gain of two. This time they go inside and a nice run there by Jalen Sultan on the carry. Receivers in motion. Stewart looking to throw it. Fires underneath and he missed his man. That was Johnson. He had a step or two. Ball was looks ahead. Everything leading up to this big game. So Jackson State with the football on offense again. They go back to the ground attack. It's Mulligan, and he's taken down hard. Once again, that was Adrian. Second and five now for the Tigers. Under pressure, Brown throws high, but he barely got that one off. It's an incomplete pass. So now it'll bring up third and man. That's the pressure I was talking about, though. Third and five for the Tigers as they put Mulligan in motion. He sets in the backfield. Brown's going to throw it. Looks underneath. Completes his pass, and he's not going to get the first down. A good pass completion to Duke Miller, but Duke had no chance of big defense about this week. As you see, Matt Noel, who's back. He's missed the last two weeks because of injury. Back on to punt the football away. And it's going to be fielded and returned by Robert McMinn. McMinn, his nickname is Flash, and you got just the flash right there of his 4-3-4-4 speed on that punt. Attack right now, or they get reserve, uh, get reserved. First and 10, they go back to the running game. It's Marcus Harris off tackle, and he's got nowhere to go. Jackson State with a big flurry up front, and they pushed him back. That quarterback on the year, 41 out of 69, 566, came into this game with only two touchdowns. And he's going to throw it again on second and 10. This time he steps up. Going to keep it. Nice move. Stewart still on his feet. A huge gain. And then he slides down at about the 12-yard dime. But Stewart picks some issues down here, as has uh, Alabama State. So they go back to the running game. And again, that Jackson State defensive front is so tough inside. It's a blue wall. Starts to go for the first down. Man in motion is Scott. Give straight away to the big back, Marcus Harris. And Marcus Harris, by the way. And he, so big third down and five for the Hornets. Rolling to the right. Pass is complete. Still on his feet. And he dives for the end zone. And he is in the end zone. That is number 16, 
Jacob Freeman. At point, you got to call the plays, but you need playmakers to make something happen. Look at the great run there. You make people miss. Good player. You got to make people, players miss. And he did about three or four there. Off the timeout and said, look, guys, let's get our focus. Let's go. And here comes Jackson State with a big run by Mulligan to get a first down. This carry for Mulligan. Let's move, move down the field. Second and seven, and a pass near the sideline is completed to the big tight end. That's DJ Steven. When he speaks, it's like EF Hutton. These guys understand he knows what he's talking about. And now we have a big third down, and we have one of the Hornets jumped offside. Free play for Jason Brown. Lost it down the sideline. It's going to be an incompleted pass, but it appeared the Hornets. Jason Brown pitches to Mulligan around the right side, and Mulligan is going to pick up about six yards. Ball is out, and it appears the Hornets have come up with it again. It's number seven, Mikey Victor on the recovery for Allen. They're bringing it. And again, you got some hard hits. And again, the Tigers kind of implementing this little pitch action they didn't use last week. And again, uh, the question is, maybe was his back down when that ball popped out? We'll see if the Earl was the guy who knocked the football out. And now the Hornets will go first and 10. And they go to the run. Howe breaks the line. Now it's a foot race. Howe down the sidelines. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds. But a big run back by the running down here in the first quarter. Stewart at quarterback gives to Howell again. Howe trying to press it to the outside as he extends the play. But Jackson State is right there to come up with a difference. Damon Stewart, empty backfield, is going to fire over to Johnson. Johnson drops the ball, but he scrambled back and he recovered it. So they were trying to hit. McMahon goes in motion. Stewart looking that way, throws it to his running back. It is high, and it's an incomplete this pass. Good incomplete. coverage. Alabama State played four of their five, first five games at home, so now they're on the road. The pass, and it's intercepted by the Tigers. A great interception there, B.J. Washington on the pick. Reading, the, reading the, the play there, and then watch him break on the ball. He just breaks in front of the receiver. He was a little bit behind, but he made up some ground real quickly, dove out, got the big, big interception there. Their first turnover of the game, and now they will have it on offense, the ball resting on their 10-yard line. Jason Brown looking to throw it again near the sideline over there. It's complete. It's going to be a gain of about seven There's yards on the play. Three. If the Tigers don't. That was Fabian McCray, the receiver on the play. Call it second and three. JSU again looking that way. He's looking to his right. This time Brown's going to be caught and dropped in the backfield. So the Hornets get to him. It's forced by Colton Bubba Adams at middle linebacker. This time they go to the run, and once again, Bubba Adams and that Hornets defense are right there. So the Hornets with the football, first and 10. Pass, and he had a man out there. Stewart was trying to get it over to Scott. Second and 10 now for the Hornets. They go straight ahead, and a nice job of bouncing off of would-be tacklers inside going to pick up about four or five yards. Order. McMinn goes in motion. Stewart throws it underneath, and he has his man. That is A.J. Gates, and the ball comes out. And an alert play over there to recover that football. Wow. That could have been dangerous right there. On the form, came to the U.S., and they were so nervous when he was getting off the plane because they didn't know if he would be five foot two, and they didn't know what they were getting. But they were very happy with what they ended up getting. So Jackson State goes to the run on this drive. It's Mulligan again. But it's a great story. The guy. That's incredible. <laughs> so second down for Jason Brown and company. Handoff inside. It's going to be about a three-yard gain there from Mulligan again. A little pushing and shoving his left. Puts a man in motion. It's a big tight end. He's set. Brown now has to scramble out of the pocket. He's being chased. Brown is caught and thrown down for a sack on the play. Loss of four, second and 14 now for the Tigers. Brown again has to throw it away because here comes Colton Adams. Bubba Adams in the backfield, and he got there to Jackson State. 
Brown's going to air it out again. Got his man. It's a completed pass. It's going to be another first down for the Tigers. It goes to McCray again. Maybe. Brown looking to pass it again to McCray again on the slant pattern. And it's another first down. For a seam. Jackson State picking up the pace now. Brown downfield lofts it high had a man over there but he could not get the football to him field for him he's an interesting story also and he's going to keep it still on his feet big fella just shaking off tackles left and right turns a negative play into a positive play so nice run by Jacoby and Morgan the Brown fires quickly and he had Rico Powers but he couldn't hang on because that ball was high. Puts a man in motion and this time he's going to keep and he runs ahead. Give him about three maybe four yards on that carry inside. Tigers have been great at forcing turnovers this season. They go to the running game. Jawan Howe and Howe carries as Jawan Howell is pulled down as he with 8 12 to go here in the second quarter. Fake the run. Downfield goes Stewart and it's knocked away. A beautiful play by Jaheim Hazel. He's injured. Oh, what's going on with that situation? But we haven't seen him yet. And they go to the run and another big play by Jackson State. Antonio Doyle for a first down for the Hornets. Johnson goes in motion. Pressure is on the quarterback. And man, he threw that one high. Was trying to hit Isaiah Scott, and Isaiah was the Alabama State player who moved. So after the penalty, and it goes off the side of his foot. It's going to be out of bounds, and that kick may have gone 12 yards. We'll get the official yardage here in a second, but wow, what a big change of event. Uh, Harrison Tuck will end up being a minus one yard because by the time it rolled backwards, he got like one yard on the on the on the punt. So here comes Jackson State offense right away. They go quickly, and that's seven McGee. The guys focused when you have something like homecoming week with so many activities going on on campus. It can be difficult sometimes. So first and 20 now. Brown looking to pass, and he got it away, but he was being yanked down, and he did the right thing there. He just for Brown in the offense. Brown again under pressure did a good job of stepping underneath and he completes the pass to McCray. So comfortable now after the completion it's third and three 17 yard completion on the play. Brown is hit bounced away from Bubba Adams. Brown still looking for zone now he's going to tuck it and he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. But what a job. Good snap. The kick is away and it is. Good, yes sir. Underneath. Needed some help as you see Jackson State there struggling to get lined up. And they come back with a great play in the backfield. Wow, that was eight play. Damon Stewart back in at quarterback looking to throw some heat. Steps up in the pocket. He's got nowhere to go. That pressure forced him out of the pocket and then he thought about running it. But he you could tell the intensity's picked up. Third and nine for Stewart. Run a stun inside. Stewart deep and it's intercepted as he overthrew his would be receiver. And Jackson State was bringing it way back. Anthony Petty with the interception. Has found a way to get opportunities and create turnovers. And again, that was just an overthrown throw, an inaccurate throw. But again, you got to be there in the place to make things happen. Petty got there, grabbed the ball. Resting on the 42 yard line. They go to the running game. Mulligan around the right side. Mulligan is going to pick up a first down and more. Irv Mulligan in rushing, and you saw a little bit why, an example of why on that last run. This time he tosses it out, completes his pass. It's going to be Duke Miller. Duke Miller. So that Jackson. Brown takes the snap, gives to Mulligan again, and this time Bubba Adams races down the side and really smacks him down. He might have gotten back oh, to the line. Yeah. Of Third and four for Jason Brown in the office. Brown on the keeper. Straight ahead. Got the first down and a lot more as he dives down to the eight-yard line. Jason Brown picking up that first down. Problems hanging on to the football for Jason Brown. He will pass it on first down. Throws underneath. 
has his man. That's Duke Miller. Miller's going to be knocked down at about the five-yard line. So they're closing in. The Tigers in for the, on their goal line packages. Morgan takes it, fakes it. He's going to keep it. The big fella goes around the right side, has some room. Jacoby and Morgan. And boy, did he smack somebody hard on the outside. I think he got pushed out of bounds. Mulligan right behind him. Puts the tight end in motion, gives to Mulligan. Nice cut, but he's going to be very close, but he did not get it over the line. He did not get it in, so we will see what Jackson's here in the first half. Fourth and goal to go for Morgan. He's going to throw it. Now he pulls it down. He has Bubba Adam Morgan, and he's in for the touchdown. What a play by Jacoby and Morgan. He was hit by Adams, carried him into the end zone, and then he extended. That is just uh, fantastic, because this play looked like it was dead to rights early. When he started running, thought, no way. And he just kept those wheels driving, got a little help from his running back, but stretched the ball out before his knee hit the ground. A great. Ball resting at what appears to be the nine-yard line. They go to the running game straight ahead, and another flag is down. That one thrown in the backfield in the direction of where. God, I thought we had switched to sumo wrestling there. It kind of looked like, but here we go right back to Mulligan again. He tries to squeeze through, gets it to out to about the five. Again, Jackson State standing right on his own goal line. He rolls to his left, looking downfield, has a man. It's complete, and it's going to be he's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the six turns and he gives it straight ahead to Mulligan who spins off a one tackler and Mulligan has the first down for the Tigers. Earl on the tackle for Alabama State. They go back again to Mulligan. He has some room at the top of the screen. You can see as he has another first down as he sweeps wide. First and 10 after that run by Mulligan. Moultrie goes in motion. He passes the other way comes back to the screen and it's going to be a nice pickup on first down call it an eight yard gain Brown will throw again on second down fires over the middle nice catch on the slant pattern a good pattern and that's McCray first and ten for Jackson State this time he gives to Moultrie and Moultrie's going to get some tough yards call it about a four yard gain as he works his way inside, Colton Adams, Bubba Adams, one of the second and five for the Tigers. Brown's going to go underneath again to Seven McGee. Seven makes it happen. A nice move. And Seven McGee is going to have a first down for Jackson State. But that was another first down for the Tigers. McGee goes in motion. Brown turns, gives it to Moultrie. Moultrie cuts it inside, has some room, and he's going to dive down near the 20-yard line. Stop cutting off his lineman. They go quickly to the line of scrimmage, and he gives it to Moultrie again. And Moultrie just using that power inside, still on his feet, trying to get more. What an effort right there by Desmond Moultrie. That was an outscore over the last 10. So the big fella Morgan is in. He tosses to seven McGee, and McGee is caught, and he's going to be dropped. Ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Hornets. And he's knocked down. That, of course, is number five, Chauncey. He did a, a saving, a touchdown saving tackle right here. Watch Morgan. He gets on it, and he just will not be denied. Gets the tackle. He saves first and ten for the Hornets. They go with Stewart again. He's pressured on first down and had to just throw it away near the sidelines. Good pressure by the Tigers from J10 after the incomplete pass. Puts Saunders in motion. Gives it inside and a nice run. Good job there by A.J. Gate is A.J. Gates. Give to Gates again. He goes the opposite way. Fullback went right. Gates goes left. And that time, not a point. Brown on a toss. Some room on the outside for Moultrie. Cuts it back in. And Moultrie's going to have a first down again. So a nice run by Desmond Moultrie. On first down, Jason Brown turns and gives to Moultrie again. Has room on the outside. And he tries to bounce it in a good defensive play. Field. Puts Duke Miller in motion. 
Gives to Moultrie again. Moultrie escapes in the backfield, and he jumps over a would-be defender. Moultrie, Woo. what a stop, right? Desmond Moultrie on the carry. This time a blitz coming after Jason Brown. Fires near the sideline, and it was caught. Did he get the foot down is the question the officials say. Brown looking to his left again. Throws underneath. Had a man open. Adams takes him down, but it's a nice gain of about five yards. So third and five to go. Make it six yards to go for the first down. Oh, and the Hornets look like they were offsides. A blitz on the play. Brown goes deep. And it's going to be an incomplete pass, but the Hornets clearly jumped offside. Unless there was. Brown puts Miller in motion. Fakes it to Moultrie. Comes back to the other side. It's a completed pass. I don't think he got there. That was the big tight end, Stevens. Come off. Let's see if they go for it this time. Brown turns, hands it straight ahead, and that's going to be close. That's going to be very close. May have gotten it. They only needed a United State. This has been a nice drive for Jason Brown and the Tigers. Brown throws underneath again, has his big tight end, Hayden Hagler. Hagler makes the catch, and he moves the ball for about six yards. Making the catch today, picking up the first down. Brown back again to Moultrie, and he's going to pick up about four inside. So a great job of mixing things up by Jackson's Hornets territory. Jason Brown on second and seven. We'll pass it. Now he steps up, dumps it off to Miller. Miller's hit still on his feet. And finally, Adams comes in, and that's the end of that. It ends right there, but a good job by Miller. But Brown's looking to throw it here. Had some time. Fires high, and it's almost picked off. It was intercepted, but intercepted out of bounds. Looks like it's a 44-yard attempt from Wasson, and his kick, he drilled it. This kid is three for three since joining this kid, this team. 170-pound sophomore, transfer from UAB. Comes, and he gives straight ahead, and it's a big hole, and a lot of room right there. That is number 24, Jalen Sultan on the... So Stewart to throw it, but he's under pressure and he goes down, but there is a flag also that hit the turf right before Stewart did. So big number. So two wide receivers stacked on the right side, and they go back to the run, and it's a little room inside. Pick up of about four yards that time for Stewart on first down. Gives it again to A.J. Gates, but nothing happened in that time. A good defensive play by the Tigers. Oh. Looking at a second and 10. Stewart fires inside. He had a little inside screen. Wow, and they could have had something going right there. He tried to hit McMinn. And right now, the Tigers only have three rushers coming after the quarterback, and that's what they do. So they go to the coverage. So he fires underneath, and that's not going to pick up the first down. Great job by that Jackson State defense. Jason Brown puts Duke Miller in motion. Gives back the other way, and that is Moultrie. And that time, Bubba Adams is there to meet him in right in the hole. No gain on the play. Ball a lot. Second and 11 now. Brown looking to throw it. Looks underneath. Has a man on the slant. It's an incomplete pass. Was trying to hit Isaiah Spencer, and the ball goes ahead. You know, he is swack, so there's no controversy there. So here's Brown to pass. Floats it out there, and it's knocked away, but that was a dangerous pass on third and 11. As a team and look at it, he's going to think, okay, I, I should have picked six that one for sure. Matt no punting from his own. Oh, wow. I don't know if that one was blocked or not, but it, if it wasn't blocked, it went off the side of the foot, and it goes out of bounds. That's going to give the Hornets great field position there. So Damon Stewart on a quarterback. Fires has a man out there with some room to run. That's going to be a huge play for the Hornets. And they broke it big. That's A.J. Gates on the catch. And the ball resting at the 13-yard line. So Stewart turns, and he keeps. Stewart has it, and it's a touchdown. How about Damon Stewart there with the zone read, making the great fake. And it looked way too easy. Look, he rode that 
running back through the hole, and it was just wide open there. He lays it up as he crosses the end zone. I was over. First and 10 on the 25-yard line. They go back to Moultrie inside, and Moultrie gets some tough yards. Call it a couple inside for in this ball game, but they both have managed to move the football when they've had to. And now Jason Brown is staring at a second and eight. And he pulls it out. He did the, ran the zone read. He tries to get up near the 30. So that's Tigers. Brown back to pass. Brown under pressure. Brown is going to be taken down. The Hornets go to the blitz, and they got to him. They dropped Brown for an Yeah, 10.52 to go, and the Hornets have the football now. They go to the running game, and a nice run, and he's still on his feet. A great run by A.J. Gates. As he, you can see him maneuvering his way. He's not a very big running back there. And so we're looking at a first and goal situation now for the Hornets. They go back to A.J. Gates, and uh, he can't get around the corner that time. Good reaction there from that ball resting on the six-yard line. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper for Stewart, and he's going to be dropped at about the two-yard line. So Stewart bidding to get his second rushing touch. And here it is, third and goal to go. The give is to Harrison. Harris is in for the touchdown for the Hornets. So they made that one look easy, man. Great blocking up front. A minute ago, right? They just went ahead and ran the same play. They said, we like this play. We're going to run it. Let's go own it. And again, they dominated. Look at the line of scrimmage. They had great blocks. And they just get tight ends on the left side. Brown turns, gives to Moultrie. He tries the right side. He's going to pick up three inside on the carry. So Devin has Moultrie to his left. Second and six. He has some time. Now he pulls it down. And, you know, it's going to be a completed pass short of the first down. A complete pass on the outside there to that. So Brown now, as you can see, the third down conversions. He tries to convert again, and he's hitting the backfield and drop. Moultrie never got an opportunity to get going there. He was just knocked down in the back state, 24 to 13 right now. Jackson State with the ball, first and 10. And Jason Brown's going to swing it out to his running back. That's Moultrie. He's going to be pushed out of bounds after a gain of about six. So Jackson's on this drive. They're trying to get this ball in for six. So Brown to throw again. Steps up, does a good job of getting away from the pressure. Now he's going to tuck it and keep it, and Brown picks up the first down on the run. For the Tigers. Brown will throw it again. Goes down the sideline, tries to squeeze it in, and he did. A nice pass by Jason Brown. You got to stay on him and stay in, in, in right in front of him. Pass goes out to Brown, who was out as a receiver, and now he's going to have to run with it. So the Tigers go to a little razzle-dazzle there. Pass first to 10, ball at the 25-yard line. Brown has a nice little window, and he throws it low. Was trying to hit Duke Miller coming across the middle, and he just missed. And the middle of the field is open. If he can get somebody in on one of those slants, this time he throws over to his running back. Moultrie, who has a lot of room in front, and Moultrie has the first down, and he's out of bounds. So well, that's Jason Brown looks to his left. Now he comes back the other way. Throws it high. He had a man wide open in the back of the end zone. Didn't see him. Just threw it to the corner to throw it. Ball resting on the 13-yard line. Brown ducks around the rush. He's going to pull it down again and step out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So Jason Brown getting it done with his. As they get ready to snap the ball, Morgan with the fake, and Morgan keeps, and Morgan's got the first down. Morgan's all the way down to, like, the three-yard line. I mean, this young man is very impressive running the football. There was short of the first down. Morgan on the keep again to the outside, and he stretches for the end zone. Ball comes out as he hits. But more importantly, there was a flag that went down in the backfield, but Morgan got very close to having another touchdown. Look at this play if it's a fumble or not. So you can see Morgan on the keeper right there, and he comes to the outside. He pushes big number 70. Oh, yeah. I think that ball does come out. He yeah. lost for holding on the play, so third and 10 for Jason Brown. 
And Brown sprints to his right, looking in the end zone, and actually down to about the two-yard line. It's a completed pass, and he's... They go to Moultrie, he takes it, he spins, and he's in for the touchdown for Jackson State. Desmond Moultrie on the handoff, spins in for the touchdown. Wow. I mean, what a turn of events. It looked like the, the Tigers would lose possession of the football. They get the penalty. Now, whether it was an elbow, I mean, it, it went by so fast. But here we go, Jackson State going for two. Brown on a slight roll, chips it inside to his big tight end, and he didn't make it. He didn't make it. He goes down on the line and looked like he was going to walk in easily. And then Steven. Because I want to get the stop and be in better field position. So Watson sets up. They go for the onside kick. Oh, and they had an opportunity. It took the hop that you'd like to see happen if you're trying to get the onside kick, but a great recovery there for the Hornets into a first down and in the ball game. So they go back to the running game and they start with Marcus Harris and Harris picks up a nice gain on first down. Harris. Penalty assessed and they went for it after that. So here we go with the Hornets on the attack again and they go to a rush. You know that's awesome clarification of that. We do appreciate that for sure. What I love about it too is the Alabama State defense as our players of the game, our Gatorade players of the game. We'll, we'll all get them Gatorade, how about that? Yeah. So that was third down. They needed four yards to go. They did not make it. See what Jason Brown does here. First and 10. Brown with some time, had to dump it off to Moultrie, and Moultrie's gonna get near the sidelines after picking up about five. Actually, he's gonna get, they're gonna mark for the Tigers. Brown's gonna go to Moultrie again. And he gets out of bounds short of the friend and a semi prevent defense here. Third down, three to go. They go to Moultrie. Moultrie runs. He has the first down. Now he picks up more than that. So Moultrie gets a nice gain. Gets the first down and he moves the football up over the 35 yard. Down to 138 and counting. Brown looking to throw it again. Fires a strike. It's going to be caught. Going to be short of the first down by Kobe Paul. Brown looks to his left, comes back to his right, goes to Moultrie. Moultrie does a good job of breaking two tackles. And he got out of bounds after he got the first down. He also had five catches. So three receivers to the left this time for Brown. Slides up in the pocket, going to keep it. Brown has a lot of room, and then he has trouble with the slide. <laughs> he, I don't know if Jace Lock continues to tick now, closing in on 50 seconds to go. Jason Brown. Then it's blocked underneath, and that was probably a good thing for Jackson State. Yeah, I'll tell you, if he had more than six years of eligibility. For Jackson State. Brown's going to keep it himself. Has a hole, and Brown gets the first down and sits down. Ten now, three wide outs, split wide to the right. Brown's looking in that direction. Airs it out near the sideline, has his man. He gets, no, still in bounds. He did not get out of bounds. That was Duke Miller. The ball is skid out. So we're down to 20 seconds, 19. Brown back to pass. Going for the end zone. Brown shoots it high, and it's incomplete in the end zone. He was trying to hit. I don't know. It's Fourth tough. and one, 11 seconds to go. Brown's going to keep it. Brown has the first down. He lost the ball. Brown lost the ball. Now he says he's down, but let's see what the officials say. Brown thought he was down. And now the ball game is over. Out there, flavor. Let's take another look here. Brown, two hands on the ball. He's down, ball's out. And right. they recover. Three seconds to go in the game. Jason Brown, empty backfield, gonna get everybody in the end zone. He slides up, throws his pass. He goes high, and it's gonna be an incomplete pass. And that's gonna be the end of the ball game. And what a defensive performance today by Alabama State. The Hornets, and they celebrate a victory. They came back, got their revenge.